Welcome to ITU Telecom 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Afik Johar, who is Executive Director of Ventures for MAGIC, the Malaysian Global Innovation and Creativity Center. Thank Afik, you. welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you if you could tell me a little bit about MAGIC, uh, the Malaysian Global Innovation and Creativity Center. It's a great name. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what, it, what it's all about. Yeah, so thank you for having me. It's, um, we're a pretty much new government organization. So we were set up three and a half years ago. As the name suggests, our focus is on becoming the National Innovation and Creativity Center for Malaysia. So we were actually launched three years ago by President then President Obama and our Prime Minister. Um, and since then, our main focus has been on developing the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Uh, a lot of the work that we do is with uh, a multitude of different partners, industry partners. So we, have, we work very closely with regional governments and local government ministries. We work with government-linked companies as well as the private sector. So what we're trying to do essentially is to build a great entrepreneurship ecosystem and at the same time drive the national innovation agenda. Now, as you probably know, ITU is very much focusing on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you, what role does MAGIC play to support the achievement of the SDGs? Well, social innovation is actually a major pillar for our organization and the government of Malaysia, uh, specific for the SDGs, because I think it's quite easy to kind of wrap around almost every part of nation building linking that to the Sustainable Development Goals. It's a fantastic framework, but specific for the SDGs, we are actually partnering with the United Nations Office of ICT, and we'll be launching, hopefully, Southeast Asia's first uh, United Nations Technology Innovation Lab. So with that lab, we're actually hoping to pilot and testbed new projects that can actually support uh, achievement of the SDGs using the latest innovations such as blockchain, 3D printing and the like. So we're definitely very supportive of the SDGs. We're also trying to partner with other industry players, uh, a lot of multinational technology players uh, in the region, so for example Microsoft and IBM, uh, on specific initiatives to support the SDGs. And why is it important, do you think, for governments to support the SDGs with innovation? Yep, so I think a lot of governments are talking about the SDGs. It's a robust framework. The question is how do we get and achieve these targets? I think the, the timeline is by 2030, if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't give us a lot of time. Innovation right now is the trending buzzword, but I think the major issue that we need to crack is how do we access that innovation? So what we've seen, at least from the startup world, is innovation can really you know, improve processes, improve you know, business. Uh, but it's really disrupt or be disrupted. So in this fast-changing landscape, uh, we believe that innovation should be a major pillar and major driver of the SDGs. And finally, what's your experience been here at ITU Telecom World? Well, this is my first time at an ITU Telecom conference. Uh, it's been an, a fantastic experience so far here in Busan. Uh, what I really like about it is the diversity of participants, um, being able to meet senior delegates and definitely what st stands out from other events and conferences is a real focus, I guess, on policy, but at the same time going one level deeper and really asking ourselves, like, how do we look at partnerships? How do we really build sustainable relationships? And what can, actually, what can we do to actually make it work collectively? Thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. And uh, good luck with the future. Thank you. Thank you.